Um, just want to have a really short memory this week. Uh, proud of the guys for, for last week, but we got to move on to San Francisco. Great opponent, great defense that we're facing. Um, it's going to take a, a great week of preparation to get ready to play. Hey, Clint, the, la the last couple weeks here with the offense really getting the ball downfield, some explosive plays in the passing game. Um, what do you think that's a product of? Is that just is that on the execution, or has there been adjustments behind the scenes in terms of just the game planning and trying to get that stuff more involved? I always put on the players. I think they've done a great job of executing um, from the, the quarterback to the offensive line, the receivers making plays. And uh, guys have done a good job the last two weeks. But again, you know, we're, we're only as good as our next day, and that's we're focusing on, uh, you know, trying to put another another good performance for our uh, team on Sunday. And seeing these results the last couple weeks, does that give you guys, certainly as a play caller, the confidence of like going back to that kind of stuff as you see them push the ball downfield like that? Yeah, we do. You know, that's I guess it's just a uh, you know product of some time on task with these guys having a lot of confidence in each other, and uh, you know, really pleased with with that production, and just got to keep keep building on it going into the next weeks. Does it add any juice knowing the last time you were in San Francisco, the offense kind of shut down against that team? You know, key playoff game and that sort of thing. And when you think back on the disappointment that the team had, absolutely, absolutely, have a bad taste in our mouth from that game. You know, it was two years ago. We got a lot of new pieces. Um, a lot of similar pieces, but uh, you know, guys haven't forgot that. And, and it's, every game, every game is like the playoffs now. So, uh, you know, we just gotta we just gotta have a great week of prep in order to go. Uh, you know, in order to go have a good a good game on Sunday. You see two teams. I mean, they started out three and five. You started out three and five. You see two teams that maybe are starting to find their their groove or what have you. I know. Yeah, San Fran looks like they're playing their best football defensively. Haven't given up a lot of points in the last two weeks. We know how good of a defense they are. Know how good their pass rush is. Um, you know they have our full attention. What do you think are the biggest differences between where the offense was at the beginning of the season and, and where you're at now? Um, you know, I just I just think uh, our guys just have been taking it one week at a time. We've we've had some some games we want back, but you don't get them back. You just gotta you just gotta keep working hard and keep working on working on your weaknesses. And I think our guys have had a short memory throughout the season. And uh, they just focus on the day-to-day and -day in, in improving. And I think that just speaks to the character of our guys. And uh, again, guys are some people are patting them on the back right now, but you can't listen to that. You can't, you know, you can't read about yourself in the paper. You just got to keep your nose down and keep watching film, keep practicing hard. And uh, that's what we're focusing on this week. Still subscribe though to the paper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. When Zimmer. It sounds like he wants you guys to be aggressive and push the ball down the field. Does that change how you play call and like the? What you're practicing this week, or kind of doing the same thing, and you just are asking the players to execute differently. Hey, you know what? Coaches always, always instill an aggressiveness in us, and uh, it's always been a point of emphasis, and will continue to be. And what does Garrett Bradbury need to do to if he hopes to win back that starting center job? He's, he's doing everything that that we've asked him to do, and you know we we know at any given time all all of our guys have to be ready to go on on Sunday, and and Garrett's no different. And uh, you know he's a true professional, and you know um, whether it's him, whether it's Mason, we have full confidence in, in either of those guys helping us win football games. Have you decided who you're going to start at that spot Sunday? Yeah, I think both guys will play. I think both guys will play, and both guys are going to practice. And um, we just got to keep getting both of them a lot of reps. So you'll use two centers in the game, you think, or? <laughs> well, one would have to play guard, or you know, one guy might have to play center. But, you know, we. Uh, we know that we know that both guys are going to help us throughout the season, and uh, maybe it's in the in this next game. Maybe it's both of them. Maybe it's not. But both guys are going to contribute, as uh, as are all of our reserve guys that aren't getting time right now. Mason may not have had the best game against the Packers, but what did you like from his performance the previous two weeks? You know, I've I've, I've liked what he's done in all, all three games. You know, he went against really tough nose guard in Green Bay, and we're gonna we're gonna keep saying good players like that. But I like his resilience. You know, I like uh, I like the way he he communicates. He's just a professional. Him and Garrett had several uh, successful plays with JJ and Adam on the same side of the formation. Uh, just just wondering what that does for how you go attack when you have those two weapons in that concentrated area. Yeah, those guys uh, between those two and, and KJ just have so much confidence in, in their ability. You know, um, they're very very intelligent players. You can move them around. Uh, within a series, you can make a quick adjustments, and uh, it just you know speaks to their football temperament, and uh, you know Coach McCardell getting them ready to play in a lot of spots. Glenn, have you noticed? I mean, since you've been Kirk's quarterbacks coach and now his offensive coordinator, these meetings that he has with with Zim on Thursdays, 
Have you noticed anything different this year, just about maybe more confidence in him, that he's got the head coach, he's got his back maybe more, he's at least like publicly saying it more, like that it gives him more confidence to do what he's doing this year versus maybe in other years? Yeah, I think, the, you know, their relationship has grown through those meetings. And at any time Kirk or Sean or any of our quarterbacks or players can spend any time watching film with Coach and learn more about defensive football, it's only going to benefit them. And I know that's been the case for Kirk this year. I mean, it sounds simple, but how, how important is that relationship? A head coach who may not have a whole ton to do with the day-to-day -day operations of the offense, but like him sitting down with Kirk and the, and the brain picking that goes on between the two. Yeah, I think it's very important, you know, two leaders in our organization getting together, being on the same page. There's a lot of value in that. Any time away tomorrow? Uh, for Thanksgiving, yes. Coach, good to us, giving us some time to go spend time with our families, eat some turkey, and maybe take a nap. We'll see. But uh, um, it feels like a long ways away. Got a lot to do before then. But uh, definitely want to wish happy Thanksgiving to you all. And uh, hopefully you all get out of here, too, at a, at a decent hour. Will you watch the Thanksgiving games, or do you kind of try to avoid the NFL? Definitely, yeah. We'll watch, watch them, um, but then get back, get back into the San Francisco mindset as soon as possible.